Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of my Reading Rush reading vlog. So I've decided to participate in the Reading Rush. I'm very excited. I know I don't have a TBR video on my channel. That's because I didn't make one. Um, I'm a mood reader. I'll pick up a book and try and fit it into the challenges that readathon has. All the information about this readathon is linked down below. Basically seven days you try to read seven books or seven days you try to complete all these prompts. I'm going to be splitting up my vlogs. I think I'll have three vlogs so stay tuned for two more after this. This is my day one and day two reading vlog. The readathon started at midnight last night. I didn't read anything because as you can see I was watching Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> I started season one yesterday and I have only two episodes left after this one. Avatar The Last Airbender was one of my favorite TV shows growing up as a kid so I'm very excited that Netflix has it and I'm able to binge the series all over again because it's been years since I've watched it and it's one of my favorite series as a kid. It is 11.30 almost. I haven't read anything <laughs> yet. Um, I've been sleeping, cooking breakfast, and watching this. So I do have a book that I really, really, really want to read. And that is, I believe it's called Mari's Mistake by Ruby Dixon. This book was released yesterday. <laughs> so I held some willpower into not reading it yesterday because I absolutely love this series. I love Ruby Dixon and this is the newest book by her. Um, and this is a spinoff to the Ice Planet Barbarian series, alien romance series that takes place on an ice planet. I'm very excited to learn about Mari and her love interest because I totally forgot about Mari and I don't remember anything about her from the Ice Home series because it's been a couple months since the last book was released. So I'm very excited. This is going to fulfill the challenge for pick up the book you touch first or something. I can't touch it, but I'm, I'm like kind of like switching the prompt to be like, the first book you pick up. So this is the first book that I pick up. So this is the one I'm picking for that. So I'm going to finish season one. I only have this episode and two episodes left. And then I'm going to be reading Mari's Mistake, which I am very, very excited for. So I've read like 18, 20% of Mari's Mistake, Ruby Dixon. And so now I'm chilling outside with the kitten we found. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you know, on my story, I told y'all how I found, or my mom and I found a little kitten hanging out by our trash outside. And so now he has a little home on our porch and we love cuddling with him. And he is so sweet. And he's like falling asleep in my lap. Hello, little bug. Hello. This is Clifford. And he is very sweet very 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 sweet I love him so much look at him he loves playing outside like I don't think we could ever like bring him indoors with our other cats even though I really want to um, he loves outside like so much you say hi hello he loves outside so much we are having a bunch of moths like the little tiny tan whatever moths and they are everywhere you take one step and a million go flying so he's having so much fun chasing those so <laughs> Hey y'all, it's actually the end of the day. About to be midnight or already midnight, I don't know. But um, I wanted to give a little update before the end of the day. So I am 50% of the way through Mari's Mistake by Ruby Dixon. I think I'm gonna read a little bit more before I go to sleep, but right now I'm currently halfway through season two of Avatar. So I'm obsessed again. I was watching it while I was packing up my closet because tomorrow I'm going to be taking a little bit of a road trip to my college town to drop off 
some things <laughs> that I need for the year. I'm not moving back in yet though, but I just wanted to go drop some stuff off. So um, I will be listening to an audiobook. So I'll tell y'all tomorrow what audiobook I will be listening to. I think I said at the beginning of this video that I didn't remember who Mari was from the Ice Home series and literally page one, I remember her. She is the girl whose mate was injured severely and the only way to help him heal was to turn off her cooey, which is like the parasite in her body that um, like tells her who her mate is and resonates and helps her have a baby and all that stuff. Basically, the healer turns off her cooey to help her mate heal because his cooey is only focused on her instead of healing. It's, it's a whole alien thing. If you haven't read the series, you're probably like, what? <laughs> it is their story. So I am 50% of the way through. It's okay so far. The first 30%, like I already knew all that stuff because the first 30% is what takes place in the first Ice Home book, which is Lauren's Barbarian. So I already knew like everything basically for the first 30%. So yeah, <laughs> um, not my favorite Ruby Dixon book so far, but um, I'm still enjoying it. I love these aliens and these people and these characters so much. So I'm having a very fun time also watching Avatar. I thought about like, oh, it's the reading rush. You gotta like listen to audiobooks. You can't watch TV show, which like, I want to do what makes me happy. And like, I could be listening to an audiobook and getting in those like those pages for this readathon. But you know what? I'm having a grand old time watching Avatar. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. I can listen to my audiobook while I drive tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have two audiobooks that I'm thinking about listening to. I have to pick which one I'm going to listen to. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna finish getting ready for bed and then watch some Avatar and read some more of this book. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. It's actually like eight o'clock at night. <laughs> Sorry for not updating like at all. Um, I just finished Mari's Mistake by Ruby Dixon. I'm gonna give it three stars. It's not my favorite Ruby Dixon book. I'm very excited for the rest of the books though. Um, it's just not my favorite. Still pretty good though. I had a lot of fun. I just have so much fun reading these books. But that's all I've read today because I took a little bit of a road trip today and um, brought some stuff to my apartment in my college town because my parents are moving out of this house so we needed to move some stuff from this house into my apartment that's my stuff so um that's what we did today i didn't listen to an audiobook like i said i was going to because i had my mom come with me and we just chatted in the car man my hair is a mess <laughs> while um we were driving yeah we just chatted um so that's all that i've really done today um i am pretty 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 beat sorry there's not like pretty much any content for today i don't really see myself reading anything else for the rest of the night i kind of just want to watch avatar <laughs> so uh, i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cook myself some dinner and then watch some avatar hey y'all it is later in the night um i just finished season two of avatar I love this show so stinking much. I can't wait. I'm gonna start season three like right now. I was watching that show when I was editing this video. I realized that it's very very short. <laughs> Probably the shortest vlog I've ever filmed ever. So uh if you like short videos uh here you go. <laughs> so tomorrow I really 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 want to start Breath of Fire by Amanda Boucher which is the second book in the Kingmaker Chronicles. I'll show you all the book tomorrow because I'm too lazy to go <laughs> get it. It's across the room right now. I'm not feeling too great because uh, Willow, my big dog, like headbutted me and uh, I thought my nose was gonna bleed but uh it's not bleeding but it might I might wake up with a bruise so we'll see but uh yeah, she actually headbutted me trying to jump up on the bed. So I'm just gonna take a chill pill for the rest of the night, chill, watch some Avatar. Yeah, I think season three is like the season I've watched the least of because the way that I would watch Avatar as a kid is that I would watch whatever episodes were like currently airing on Nickelodeon whenever we had cable or whatever. I don't think I've ever really watched them in chronological 
order, or it's been a very long time since I've watched them in chronological order, and they would rerun season one over, season one and season two over and over and over again, and they didn't rerun season three all that much. I'm very excited. I love season three. The final episode is my favorite because a couple gets together, but now that I'm older, like, like, I kind of want maybe Katara to be with another character. I was always like a Katara and Aang shipper like when I was a kid. I loved Katara and Aang and now like what about Zuko? <laughs> what about Zuko? Comment down below if you love Avatar The Last Airbender who your favorite couple is because uh I love Sokka. I loved him with Princess Yue but then I also love him with Sugi. So uh let me know who your favorite couple is down below. Also, I love Toph. Toph got introduced in this season. Toph is one of my favorite characters of all time. Like, I love her so much. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop gushing about uh, Avatar. This is supposed to be a reading vlog, and I've done barely any reading. I've read one book in the past two days, so hopefully tomorrow I will read a bunch more. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've read the Ice Home book yet. What you thought about it? What you think of Avatar? But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye! Thank you.